Put up fight world man, it's your boy Stonebone. And this motherfucker gonna jump on my video, then jump on my IG page and my Instagram and shit talking about Oh for none don't be dissing bud. He don't got no hate for bud. Alright. And then he talking about the last video I made about um look oh Terrence Crawford Duck and Shine. Terrence Crawford team this this is everybody. Terrence Crawford friend, this is everybody. Look, he clearly doing this nice little, his best clout chase. Um, and this ain't the show. One of these shows, Blue Blood had to call the nigga out on. Look, Terrence Crawford claims he won all the smoke. Let me click on. Let me see what it say though. Look. All right. The Crawford Unless it's Porter. Twitter. Okay. Look. Um. Let's see. L. Spence drama. Crawford wants what. I mean, like, L. Spence accused of having a weapon. Did, did he or did he not have a weapon in the car? It's not. He wasn't accused. I don't even think he was charged of it or nothing. I mean, all this shit. This nigga got 50 Crams Crawford videos. All right. How you doing today? Let's talk about Errol Oh, uh, yep. I think, I think he gave a positive, uh, some positive. Errol Spence clowns Terrence Crawford. Tell him, what did he tell him? Let's see. All right, welcome back to the channel. Terrence Bud Crawford. Tried to clown he, Look, oh, he tried to clown him, but he did clown him. Yeah, man. And then, um, refused to Sean Porter. When did you, Sean Porter, or... We gonna stay on this Terrence Crawford Sean Porter issue because it's look clear. he's staying on it. Yeah, that's that's what his objective is. You know what I mean? To continuously tag Bud gets pressed by Danny Garcia, called out by multiple PBC. Terrence Crawford ducking Sean Porter, like Terrence Crawford Sean Porter. Look, he tried to clear up Earl Spence. This is where he talked about the teeth shit. You know what I mean? Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford. I mean, Spence, Ed is Terrence Crawford. Like, look at this. Terrence Crawford recruited by the zone. Like, everything is just so anti. It's all anti Terrence Crawford. I didn't even want to click on this one. Duck and Sean Porter. When he's Duck Sean Porter. But this is what the guy jumped in my. DMs and shit about video I just made. Get a couple of it. Like this shit. Listen, I want you to hear what he just hear what he say. Involved in the business of buying. I want you to hear what he say. So when you when Jamal Harris says I want to say, okay, if Errol Smith Jr. and Terrence Crawford don't want to fight, can't fight next, who is Terrence Crawford gonna fight? People are just listen to this now. Conversation going on between and tell me Boxing I don't hear what he hear. What he said. Going on between the boxing fans and Terrence Crawford. Now, so when you, when Jamal Harris says, "Listen to us, tell us how the business is ran," okay, that to me made it sound like. See that to me, already letting you know that that is an opinion. What is sound? Then listen. Jamal Harris. What is sound? His very first statement. That is letting you know what that sounds like to him. That's basically saying, in my opinion, he said this. But that ain't what he said. You put words in his mouth. Like I said, Jamel Harrigan's the next target. And you're trying to act like I'm just making up this shit. Listen. Jamel, Jamel, Mr. Harrigan. You know the nigga name. Doesn't think that boxing fans are involved in the business of boxing. What did he say that? That is wrong. The business of boxing is Essentially this. Look at this thing. You have See, look. You trying to sit here and tell a guy who has been with PBC, who has been with Top Rank, who has been a part of fucking, uh, I think even Golden Boy, or maybe at the, it came at the end of the Golden Boy run. So you telling a guy who done dealt with three different promotional companies, you finna tell him how the business worked for now. You're about to tell you're about to tell him how the business worked for now. 
That's what you're going to do for now. Huh? A guy who sits behind his computer all day who ain't never fought is going to tell a fighter who has dealt with both of the major promotional companies right now and all three of the top <coughs> promotional companies to set his own about how the business works. Do you hear this shit? And you want to sit here and tell Jamel here he's wrong. When he done been on both sides of the street or this so-called street that you guys are using to keep Earl away from Bud. Now you got your little trolls all in my comment on my videos, jumping in my Instagram shit. I don't, my Instagram shit is for boxing. And it's to talk about boxing and bullshit, what you do is boxing. I don't beef on Instagram, so tell your little trolls and clowns to get the fuck out of my DM talking about y'all, nigga. They can come in in a motherfucking public setting where everybody can see it. Let, it, let the world see how much of a bitch you is that you will jump on this another man's shit and, and, and DM me. You can fucking, you, if I say something on a video, you can reply to that shit, cool. But I ain't jumping in no niggas' DMs. Threatening niggas about nothing over nigga named Fanon said. As he's sitting in his computer and and criticizing nigga, uh, real fighters. And he's trying to check Jamel Heron. Talking to, he's trying to cause a rift between Jamel Heron and the fans. And trying to say, oh, bud, do this. So Jamel does that. No, he said he was getting his popcorn to watch not just the fans. Watching everybody. Because for none, as much as you don't realize it, you're an Earl Spence fan too. I'm a Terrence Crawford fan. I'm an Earl Spence fan. We all fans of these fighters. You acting like you you don't got no credentials. You're not a paid media at these fights. You don't have a network that's broadcasting fights. So you're a fan who talk about it, and you might get YouTube checks for clicks. But that don't make you a motherfucking know-it-all better than a motherfucking fighter who done been on both sides of this so-called street that y'all talking about. And that's pretty much if you weren't such a, so so arrogant to think that, oh, in my opinion, this is what he meant. No, what he said is what he meant. Listen, listen, listen. And you want to... Like, Jamal Herring, Jamel Herring, Jamel... Look, and you know the nigga name, but you rolling your oh, eyes and all this fans. shit. And also, the conversation going on between the boxing fans and Terrence Crawford. Now, so when, when Jamal Harris says, listen to us, tell us how the business is ran. Okay? That to me. That's, uh, uh, that to me. So everything that he's about to tell you is just his opinion and it's not fact. So quit acting like you got the motherfucking facts, man. They did sound like. Jamal Herring, Jamel, Jamel, Mr. Herring, doesn't think that boxing fans are involved in the business of boxing. When did he say that, though, Fana? That is wrong. That is wrong. The business of boxing is essentially this. You have two fighters that want to get paid for fighting. Man, I can't even. I can't even listen to this dude no more. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I just wanted to unpack it a little bit because this guy talking about, I, you don't, you can't understand what he's saying. He don't be hating on Bud and Jamel. He just told the dude he was wrong for having the same thing that you have, an opinion. You just gave your opinion. He gave his opinion. So what makes him wrong and you right for none? You wrong for none. He done dealt with both of them, so maybe he know a little bit more about how the business go than you do. So, man, you could, man, you could, uh, fucking, I don't know, man. Y the next motherfucker that email me, I want you to or DM me or any of that shit. I want y'all to really look at what this dude just said and then tell me what I'm, what, tell, what they say. Who do you believe, me or your own lying eyes? You know what I mean? Your eyes ain't lie to you. You just heard this dude. Do I need to replay the shit a third time? I don't think so, because I'm getting a fucking headache just thinking about this dude. And I told you, this shit is a orchestrated attack. And watch, in the next, probably in the next couple hours, you're going to have another video attacking Jamel Heron. Because this shit is coordinated, bro. Just like the attack on Shakur, when I did the last video, Jamel is next. And like my video title was, Collateral Damage. Anything around blood, they after and they attacking. 
And, man, it's Thumb on Boxing, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video, man. I just wanted to put that out there, that Jamel Heron has been, we already know he's been with PBC. He was with PBC in the early inception when they was with Golden Boy. You know what I mean? He was with, he's been with uh, Adrian Broner and all them. Now he's with top ranking Bud and them. You know what I mean? And they never attacked Jamel Heron. One day, you, these dudes never did a vid negative video about Jamel Heron in their life until the hate for Bud has, has, plat has reached the pinnacle. You know what I mean? And this shit is only, they ain't stopping. They putting out on the uh, videos like we're going all in. You know what I mean? So, man, fuck these weirdos, man. And and the dude who just is in my, with, in my shit uh, talking about, I don't know what I'm talking about. What did he just say? What did Jamel Heron say to make him do a video talking about he's wrong when he just said, I'm getting my popcorn? You know what I mean? And then he let you know. In my opinion, this is what I think he meant. So, Come on, this nigga ain't no uh, psychologist. You know what I mean? He ain't. He, he's not uh, Jamel Heron's wife. He can't sit here and tell you what he meant by what he said when he said what he said, motherfucker. You know what I mean? So, man, it's Stonebone Boxing, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace.